Hi, good morning. In today's video, we are going to evaluate this limit set as i equal the limit as as y is approaching to zero. One over y multiplied by integral uh, from zero to pi tangent y sine x dx. Okay. As you see here, we have a product of two functions. The first function is a is a the integral uh, one over y multiplied by integral zero pi tangent y sine x dx. This is constant function because we have definite integral. What's the difference between definite integral and indefinite integral? Definite integral, which is has bounds, is a value which is constant. But the indefinite integral is a function because this integral doesn't have a doesn't have bounds. That means is a function. This is you are looking for the original function of this integral. Okay. So in this case, our integral is a constant because it has bound zero from zero to pi. Okay. Another thing you notice here. Uh, let's let's calculate this this g integral. Okay. First, if you look at inside of this integral, you will see tangent y sine x dx. What does mean this function? That means this function is depending on x, not depending on y. Okay, that's the first thing we should know here. So let's put f of x as a function equal tangent y multiplied by sine x, which is a sine x. Let's put a equal tangent y because the tangent y is a constant in this case. Okay. Let's take a look at here again to see this function. Is an even function or add function? Why? I'm telling you why in one second. Okay. So let's check it first. F of minus x equal a sine minus x equal what? We know sine x is an add function. Okay. We know that. The cosine x is an even function, so that means we take a negative uh, negative sign outside. Your your uh, function become one minus a multiplied by sine sine x, which is minus f of x. So your function is an add function. What do you know about integral of add function? The integral of add function is a zero. Is always zero. Okay, that's that's the important thing I should know here, because this integral, it seems hard. It, it looks like hard to evaluate it, but in reality, it's very easy because add function. <laughs> okay, so j equal equal zero from zero to pi tangent y sine x dx equal add function equal zero. That's it. We finish. So what does mean here? So if you apply your limits, uh, you have two functions. Zero, you have zero multiplied by one over y. That means zero over zero. So your limit i limit of integral from zero to pi tangent y sine x dx this is over y okay as y is approaching to zero is called zero over zero what do you know about this one this is and and determinate form okay so both functions this is considered as a function this one let's call it fy okay let's call it Let's, let's call it, uh, okay, yeah, fy equal constant in the same time is zero, okay? Is allowed to have a function, is a constant function, which is zero, okay? Is a function, but the function is a constant, is a zero function. We can have it, it's okay, okay? So, the, in this case, we have two the fraction of two functions. You have zero over 
y okay half, half y over uh, y okay what does it mean and then both functions this function what you have here uh, are continue and differentiable okay so what does it mean now we are allowed to use uh, opposite theorem okay so in this case you have you have a determinate form first this is first condition or second condition first condition you have uh, both functions are differentiable second condition you have a determinate form so at the, in this case you have right to use uh, opposite theorem that's it so that's mean i have the limit f of y for example over y y is going to as y is going to be zero uh, is approaching to zero equal the limit f prime y over over one because uh, making the uh, yeah so that's mean f y which is constant which is zero f prime of y z, uh, the the uh, differentiate uh, if you differentiate this function gives you zero that's mean zero uh, differentiate the constant function is always zero if you have a g, g function let's put g g y equal y okay g prime y equal one so your limit is zero over one is zero so your limit i equal the limit one over y integral from zero to pi tangent tangent y sine x dx y is approaching to zero equal zero okay so the limit is evaluated correctly okay and successfully okay so i see you in next video bye